Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm showing you how to farm reusable parts the most quickest and the absolute best way possible. Use this method, believe me, it's the best. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, is this going to go to Briar Thorn Cemetery? We ain't going to go to Briar Thorn Cemetery. There is a better method. Uh, there are a few requirements. If you're going to use this method, I'm going to get into them straight away. A lot of you guys that aren't brand new to Diablo shouldn't have an issue with this. The first requirement is you have to play through the campaign mode. Kill all the bosses, play through all the acts, complete the game from Act 1 to Act 5, 100%. Well, not 100%, like you don't need all the achievements. Just finish the story, finish the campaign mode. That's the first requirement. The second one is, once you finish it, make sure that you log into the Survivor's Enclave in Act 5. Or you don't have to be at the Survivor's Enclave. You can be anywhere in Act 5. Just make sure when you start a game, start it in Act 5. Now, you also need to have your Templar here following you so templars here and then what we do from here boys is we right click the templar you talk to your templar and you got to probably go through a few conversations you keep going until you finally get to the templars quest and this actually lets us gain access to the ultra secret templar level so if you guys didn't know this then we're hitting two birds with one stone you're going to get the uh the secret templar level and you're also going to get the best method for farming reusable parts so i've been using this method the whole time and i just thought i'd do a quick video i've never explained how to do it so i just wanted to share it with you all and i'm actually about to use this method right now i need to farm some reusable parts for my crusader so i can get um some set items and do some more guides set dungeon guides for you for you all for you all so I think I've gone through everything important. You need to complete campaign mode. Use the character that you've completed campaign mode. Uh, it's very, very important. If you haven't done campaign mode with all of your characters, use the one that's completed the campaign fully. Log into Act 5. Make sure that your Templar follower is following you and then talk to him until you come to the Templar's quest. All right, so once we're at the Templar's quest here, today, we click on that. Today, He'll talk a bit of shit. And then this will come up. You'll be prompted for the Templar's Awakening. Accept. And here we are, boys. So just move up here. Talk to this guy. And I've got some speed increases that I'm using here. But you don't run that much. So as you can see here, straight away the weapon racks. They're all white weapons, baby. They're all white weapons. Obviously, you do this a lot quicker when you rinse and repeat over and over again, but have a look at them all. Another weapon rack. And it's, it's not that, like, huge, so you don't need a bunch of movement increases. I've just got a couple. Pretty cool secret level, eh? So very important, once we get into this uh, last room here, we don't want to complete the quests. Another weapon rack. So that's where you complete the quest with the Grand Maester, Maester, whatever. It is Maester. It's very Game of Thrones like. Uh, yeah, don't need that. And here we go here. So if you look in your inventory, you're about half full. What you want to do is either log out or teleport back to town and then log out, log back in, uh, that resets and you rinse and repeat. So what would happen now is if we log back in, if we logged out and logged in, we could talk to the Templar again and we do the Templar's quest and everything will respawn and reset. All right. So once you do it a second time, your inventory will definitely be full. Then you salvage. And there's your reusable parts right there. And just keep rinsing and repeating. Keep going. You know, in a couple hours, you'll have more reusable parts than you need. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't be afraid to leave me comments below. And let me know if you knew about the Secret Templar level. Until next time, Benny13, out.